Welcome back to the Outriders demo. In this video, we are just quickly, like I'm briefly going through the patch notes because there are patches upcoming for the demo. And what I'll do is leave a link in the description so that you guys can go check it out and read it in like in full. Because as I said, I'm briefly going through it, just picking out the bits that I wanted to mention. And overall, I do think it's positive. I was a little bit confused with it all on stream, trying to concentrate on 700 different things all at the same time. And some of it just, I wasn't just understanding it fully. But now I've had a look through, and in terms of them stopping legendaries dropping from chests and only on repeated side quests, you can now farm the captain on the side quest. They're kind of just trying to move it over to a more natural thing within the game, instead of people loading into a story mission, running back and farming chests. I think it's actually quite a good change, but what we're going to do now is jump into the patch notes. Right, so on Reddit which is what I've got a link to. They've got a story so far. Um, this is just their update on it. What's next? As mentioned, any patches and changes for the demo need to be carefully balanced with our work towards launching the full game. Here are our plans for the future of the demo. So, they currently have a patch in the pipeline. They're intending to release it as soon as it's past testing, likely early next week. Here is what it will address. When was this posted? Literally two hours ago. So next week, resolutions that apply to all platforms. Added a motion blur toggle made minor tweaks to frame rate output for certain items and cutscenes, however they're working on a more comprehensive fix for the future, made improvements to cut down on the time it takes to matchmake, made other minor improvements and fixes. PC, they fixed a crash that repeatedly occurred when opening the menu or inventory, fixed a bug that deletes player gear if their connection drops out during a transition, improved uh, subtitle display and synchronization during the bad day quest. Xbox, fixed menu prompts not displaying correctly in supported non-English languages. That's all they've done for Xbox when I'm pretty sure the inventory causes crashes on that platform too. Um, PlayStation exclusive fixes. Fixed the store links on the buy now button in the lobby. Note that while the in-game button will be fixed with the patch, you can still search the PlayStation Store for Outriders should you wish to already pre-order it. And a bug that was causing an audio desync in cutscenes. A back-end update to the demo will be done during a short maintenance on Friday, March 5th at 3pm GMT. Um, so literally tomorrow, what's changing? Changes to Captains. The Captain mob ability Healing Light will have its effectiveness reduced. The Captain mob ability from the Ashes and Phoenix Aura will have their cooldowns increased. Some players are finding it hard to fully kill captains who would trigger these abilities, making for a frustrating rather than a challenging but fun encounter. Changes to Gorse. Gorse will have his health points increased for repeat playthroughs. This is to ensure that he remains fun and challenging for players who are overpowered at this point in the story. And healing from his ability still wall will be increased. Changes to the loot drops. While we don't want to prevent farming runs, we get it. The loot cave discovered via the triple chest run as well as the store exploit do not feel to be within the spirit of the game. To that end, we are redirecting farming efforts to mechanics in the game that may be more enjoyable for players to play through and repeat. So epic items are no longer appearing in shops and vendors within the demo. Uh, chests will no longer drop legendary items and side quest rewards on repeat runs will now have a chance to drop legendaries. Drop rates for enemies are not being changed at this time as we feel these are balanced quite well for the average player experience. Rip that captain. They've, they've literally said rip that captain. Uh, note that running this back-end update now is also a way for us to preemptively ensure that such back-end balancing can be a straightforward, low-impact method of also rectifying any excessive balance issues in the main game. Other notes and things we're addressing, camera shake during cutscenes and dialogues, um, they can't fully address it in the demo, but they're going to try removing the 30fps restriction to see if that helps the impact of the camera movement. Matchmaking... The upcoming patch may help alleviate some issues, but they're keeping a close eye on the time it takes to match make and they're continuing investigations. The cover system, they've been listening to feedback. It's not something they're able to fix within the demo, um, but the, the game's going to include a slew of bug fixes for many cover locations. Address fixes for a handful of uh, system issues that are currently affecting the mechanic on a global level. Items disappearing from player inventories is an issue they are treating very seriously and are doing their utmost to investigate while the upcoming patch will address one bug causing it, they are continuing to track down other causes. In the spirit of transparency, while we do not currently have a system in place that can automatically restore an affected player's complete inventory, the teams are nevertheless working hard to see what may be possible in the near future. Once they've identified and resolved the underlying causes as well as further investigated the feasibility of a restoration system, they'll provide the community with an update to try and get affected players back on their feet. 
Please keep an eye on the social channels for more. Cheating and players using obvious exploits. They are aware of a handful of players who are using third-party software to alter the game files and save data in their favour. They can't go into details. They would, however, like to assure all regular players that they're able to identify cheaters with relative ease via their back-end system and that their actions shouldn't affect the regular playing or co-op experience. They're continuing to work hard on polishing the main game ready for launch on April 1st. They're continuing to track player feedback and bugs coming out of the demo. So, I mean, overall, it's not bad at all. And they're just switching it up so that you have a more natural sort of in-game way to farm legendaries. So you won't be able to go do the chest run, but you can farm the side quest. I'm actually kind of glad. Like, obviously, I was reading it all from live stream and I didn't sound too happy about it because... It was just hearing different things from different angles, but now I've read it and I understand it fully. They're adding motion blur, which is amazing. Um, this patch for all the changes to legendary stuff literally happens tomorrow. I'd say it's all positive. They're being transparent with us, saying they they can't fix the missing inventory for players at the moment, but they're trying their best to sort stuff out for that. I mean, it all looks good. We're just going to have to take this as it is, test out some stuff in the demo after this patch and then just take it from there but it does all seem good and that is going to do it for this video that was the patch notes i wanted to take a look at remember not everything is being broken they're being transparent they're actually trying to make it a good looter shooter for pve they're trying to like basically make things more natural in terms of farming so we're just going to have to literally play the demo uh, like after the updates dropped and just see what's changed and how it feels then obviously give them feedback and see if like if we do enjoy it see if it gets taken into the final product like the full release but let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments i will see you in the next video i hope you enjoyed it